good morning so we have been cleaning up all morning as a family because it is sunday and um but in a minute we are about to leave because we have a reservation at sugar factory today i'm so excited i've never been um we live in south florida so the only one to go to really is in miami and because of tourism it's always booked and it's always crazy so now that spring break is over um i'm pretty excited because we did get a reservation and we're going today um and i'm gonna take y'all with me because why not and then there's no telling what else we'll get into when we're in miami but i wanted to introduce the vlog because we actually are doing something today and do not mind this it's the bonnet life you already know i took my faux locks out um we're in between hairstyles we'll see what happens so it's probably gonna be a wig today don't worry about it but anyway next time i see you i will not look like this be thankful talk to y'all later hi guys we are back we're in the car we are i told you i wouldn't look like this when y'all saw look like that when y'all saw me again <laughs> i filmed a video a reel on instagram my first time i had never filmed a reel before ever 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 so i was really excited but this was the finished look but we are in um miami right now which is nuts it's nowhere to park it's still crazy um on our way to sugar factory so once we find some parking i think we're gonna do valet we will come back i'll show you what the building looks like like walking up and the inside of it so stay tuned michael's focused on trying to find a parking space he came back we there's a sugar factory in Orlando also however we live near Miami so the only one that we can go to is the one on South Beach so first off that's problematic because there's a ton of traffic there's a ton of tourists like people around $50 to park but that ain't no problem but the St. Louis and me, man, I got 45, I ain't got 50. <laughs> he took them down to 45 for the parking in the parking garage. But yeah, that's the other thing, like it's tourist prices. So we had to pay $50 to park, well 45 to park in the garage. And then you have to make your way through all of the people and the traffic and um, the half naked crazy that's going on um, on South Beach to even go. 
but when we got in it was really nice the waitress or the waiter and the hostess they were super super nice it was clean in there it was really pretty they had a lot of loud music like the light the lighting was nice like it was it was a vibe for real like so i get why people want to go but it was okay um next the food so what did you have I had the signature burger, a beef burger. Um, it was it was good. The brioche bun was good. Uh, Maddie had a grilled cheese and fries, which was fourteen dollars. Uh, Michael's burger, I think, was eighteen dollars. And then I have no. They are not watching the Disney. We're driving by. Ain't doing a Disney cruise review. But anyway, we um, Mickey got enough money. He don't need us. He don't need our channel too. Can I? Can I finish? Oh my bad. I had the um waffle. Now y'all, let me don't even start me the line. Michael, where's your phone? Never mind. I'll I'll she insert. insert the menu at a high ass uh, breakfast burger that she had. And she had a $43 fish bowl drink. $43. So I did. I got the drink that you always see. I'll have a video of it where it's the dry ice. So it's smoking really good. And I was like, you know what? I'm here. I'm going to just have one to be having it. They are $43. It doesn't matter. They have a ton of flavors and different kinds you can try with different alcohol. And all of them are $43. It doesn't matter the flavor or they all come in one size. Um, you know what? I'm not going to lie. It was good. It was good. Was it $43? No. But you're paying for the dry ice. You're also paying to have a drink like that on South Beach. So it is what it is. Um, but not to lie, y'all. My food was fire. That that waffle, it was like... um. A burger, which y'all know I really don't even eat beef. And let me just tell y'all that I fed Michael and Maddie the beef and I ate everything else that was on the sandwich. But it was um, the burger. It was like a burger patty. It had gravy, bacon, breakfast sausage, a fried egg, and um, hash browns on it. Like, it was so good. It was hot. The food came quick. Everybody's food was hot and it was delicious. I suggest you find the not peak time to go because I can see how I can go left. Yeah. And I'm a review reader. Of course, I read the reviews. It was all ones and the service was horrible and all that. But I just think you get the bad review once the bill comes and it's over $200. We haven't gotten there yet. So the food itself was really good. We did go, we, I made a reservation. And so we went at 1.30 on a Sunday. Um, nice spring break. Yeah, the majority of the tourists are gone. And the people that was down there, they was just walking back and forth, which is what, you know, per usual. Um, but it was worth it. It was cute in there. I thought it was really good. Um, we had three meals. Everybody had water. And then I got that drink. And our bill was, oh, there is a 20% tax on the food they tax you because you supposedly eating on south beach yeah a lot of if you've been to south beach if you've been to miami you know that there's a tax on all of the the restaurants so your meal gonna on. be a hundred dollars regardless what you get there's a tax on all of the restaurants that you go to that are on south beach so you will pay regardless there was a 20 percent tax on it so our bill was 121 dollars and then we tipped um $23 on top of that. So basically it was $150. Ouch! <laughs> dang, I, I dang, took $23 on top of that. Dang! Wow. First of all, the tax is not a tip. It is a tax that you pay on every single meal at every restaurant on South Beach. Mm -hmm. That does not go to your waitress or know, your I'm, waiter. I like tipping. Yeah, so, service isn't good, I'll just try to leave a tip. Yeah, now. so for people watching, like, tip your way staff. Those people are busy as heck. They're dealing with a bunch of different attitudes. They're crazy, especially on South Beach. It's a lot. 
So you want to make sure that you're tipping your, your people and they take good care of you. Um, this guy was really good. He kept checking on us to see if we needed anything. A couple of the um, wait staff came over to talk about how cute Maddie was. So it was. They brought us some more paper straws. Yeah, I don't like the paper straws. Whoever invented those. Why I order. <laughs> but, but it was good. So I will just say, like, prepare to spend a certain amount of money don't go into it um you know if you don't have the money to go don't go because you're not gonna tip you're not gonna be a good um you're not gonna get the drink you want you're gonna drink right. water like me you want to make sure that he could have got a drink he didn't want one you want to make sure that you can spend it and experience it because it is pretty cool um you also don't want to be one of those people that leave review just because you didn't like that it was hot like it's hot that's just what it is like i went to it's baked before and it was high and i still tipped the vibe was good the music was good like it just is what it is it's that kind of restaurant you twerking? no i was not twerking however i did film other people twerking which that's, that's side note here don't let me find out not no drinks I can serve y'all cause who you thought that $43 I'm thinking my drink's gonna be 60 and, and people willing to pay oh, oh man don't let me figure out that yeah I mean you're getting the drink is huge you really can split it like if like Michael drank some of my drink I mean obviously I got a sip I drank the whole thing but obviously we are a married couple like you can split one if you want to but I drink, so it's not mm. splittable for me. That's she, not an option. She drink crown peach. It wasn't an Dark option. Dark liquor. <laughs> Side note. Throw up all on the side of the car. Yeah, you she, was she a lie. Michael. You drink. Michael. Oh, I know you drink. <laughs> Michael. You were just Story time, that. real quick. No, story it's time. not story time. There it is right here. No. One time. Save that for we, a different one time, video. No, this is going on right now. One time we were somewhere, she drunk all the punch, and then she ended up took the punch bowl and ate the fruit out of there. Then, on the way home, now she wanted to sleep with the window down. No, it's cold outside. Wake up. Wake up. As soon as we get in front of the house, what happened? Bleah! All in the car. And who had to clean it up? Oh, my. Poor daddy. Yep, poor daddy. Are you kidding me right now? No, I can't. Because we can, we can venture off from this story time to talk about a time where you were not, we weren't even married. I don't even think we were together, honestly. Okay, where I got a frantic, panicked call on my phone at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning because he's drunk, Brandon is drunk, and they needed somebody to, to drive them all around the city. Mind you, we lived in St. Louis then, and I'm all the way on, if you know, you know, 40 and McCausland, and I have to drive Brandon home, who lived all the way in North County. Then after I dropped Brandon off in North County, I had to turn around and come all the way back to where I live, Central West End area, and get this drunkie out the car that smells like throw up because somebody else threw up in the car before Shout out I got Rob, he threw up in the brand before, the fresh rental car. It had 10 miles on it and he threw up. Before I even pick, got in the car to drive them, somebody had already threw up in the car so it stank. I come out, I'm driving, I drive Brandon off like I said. I get Michael back to my house and he's so done, he can't even get up the stairs. I had stairs to go up, two different sets of stairs to get in the house and then go upstairs to get to the bedroom and get him undressed and get him in the bed so he could lean off the edge of the bed completely wasted. Don't do that, okay? Who it's a, the heck drinks it's a like story that? for a story. Somebody who a lightweight and don't drink. Lightweight? Don't need to be drinking. That's who. Okay. Somebody who has two, three drinks hey, 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 hey. and be done. I understand. Don't do that. I These understand. is real drinkers around here. We don't do that. I understand. Anyway. Do you um, believe that? Yeah, it was true. So no, anyway. I know you don't. Anyway. I don't believe. I do. I do. I do. Long story I do. short. I do. I do. Long story short. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because y'all tripping. But long story short, it was it was really good. I mean, I enjoyed my food. I loved it. Betty enjoyed her food. Um, All I wanted was sugar. <laughs> will I go again? 
I probably will probably try to one. Yeah, we'll do in the one Orlando. in Orlando. They say they sing and dance. I mean, I like the one with the um, candy store. Well, you That's, gotta go to uh, Wisconsin or something for that. I wanna do that. So you got Wisconsin money? Uh, the one in Orlando, we'll probably try just to see the difference. Now, somebody was having their birthday there. So they did do like come to their table and sing happy birthday and they were clapping and all of that other stuff. It but if you're looking for that kind of experience, um, go to the you're not, factory. you're not going to Yeah. <laughs> so, anywho, that, that's, ma'am, ma'am, that's really going to do it for the review, guys. It, I, my food was excellent. And my drink was good, so it just is. She eating beef burgers. She lied to y'all. She eating beef burgers. Talked all that stuff. I about barely me. no. I barely ate that burger. I should have took a picture of my plate when I was done because I didn't eat it all, and it was mostly burger left on the plate because I ate the waffle and the bacon and the fried egg and the gravy and that sausage that was on there. The hash brown, like that was fire. Like honestly, it was delicious, but. Y'all yeah, already know. I didn't. Let us know in the comments if you like these car talks. Cause we got we talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have, I had to get my own channel to dive into what I really want to dive into. We have a lot of stories, but we've literally known each other for 20 years. So that's craziness. Anywho, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see y'all in the next video.